Hey everybody, Matthew Solomon here, coach with MatthewSolomon.com, coming to you live from Playa del Rey Beach in Los Angeles, California, my happy place. Look at that. Talking about miracles today. Miracles. <laughs> I had a... Uh, uh, people who work with me tend to up-level very quickly. Just, just heard a seagull. <laughs> Uh, tend to up level really quickly, and and there's a, a you know, client of mine who, within a week, had uh, this amazing job offer. Uh, within two weeks, it's like shit just lined up. It's huge, like huge opportunity, huge shift, so much support, so much amazing stuff. And and we were talking, and you know, there's a lot of stuff that that goes along with it. And and what uh, my client was saying was. Yeah, I always get jobs, so that's, that's, that's no big miracle. But the miracle will be like this, this, and this, and this. So I was like, it actually took me a minute, because I was like, wait, wait a second. So miracles. We can get used to miracles showing up. They don't have to be like these random things that save us from things that, oh my God, I need a miracle so bad because shit's bad. We have miracles happening all the time. We just, we're just not trained, we're just not taught, we're just not socialized to focus on those. What if you expected miracles to show up? What if you looked at your life and as you start being grateful for waking up, me, right? I woke up this morning. I have air to breathe. I have food in my fridge. I, I got to go to Five Rhythms Dance this weekend with one of my favorite people. And I ran into other favorite people. And for two hours, I got to just listen to music and move my body and, and feel. I got to celebrate my niece's birthday yesterday. I got to... Netflix released, you know, season eight of Walking Dead. Um, I get to sit here on the beach this morning. I made a tomatoless pizza sauce <laughs> that was awesome for one of my favorite people who can't eat tomatoes. Who says those aren't miracles? Just because it's not like the, the sky isn't parting and I'm not being saved from, you know, some impending doom. So, yeah. For this, for this particular client, they get jobs. Jobs like this, though? Maybe. And if you, if you expect jobs to show up, they show up. If you expect love to show up, it shows up. If you expect the day at the beach to show up, it shows up. <laughs> And if you expect uh, disconnection notices to show up, they show up. And if you expect traffic to show up, it shows up. And if you expect uh, arguments to show up and politics and Facebook battles and all of that stuff, it shows up. But the beautiful thing about your mind is... You get to choose what to focus on. Now, it runs on autopilot. It fucking runs. Mine runs. Mine runs. But then when you shift it, I had a, another client call last night dealing with a lot of heavy stuff. And just talking it out, just getting it out, just processing it, and then shifting the focus, the client was like, wow. I feel so much better, as usual. So what if you gave yourself 10 minutes today, or 20 minutes today, or even five minutes just to write down, just to look around and, and be grateful and recognize that, yeah, there's stuff going on. It's still going to be going on. So take a break. Take five minutes. Write, write down, get present to what you're grateful for. Feel better for five minutes because you choose to. 
and then see how your perspective is different when you go back into the other stuff. At least for a little while. It may not last, but then you can do it again and again and again and again. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Last look at the beach. Bye.